And now I'm just going to do a, a really quick talk, um, and, and I'm also going to give a shout out before I even do this to um, the, the new team from CoreOS who actually um, wrote and took my raw notes and turned them while I was on a beautiful holiday last week in Norway. Uh, I finally got to take a vacation and the Norwegian tax group is here. Thank you very much for, you know, I paid a lot of taxes in Norway, but it was worth every penny. Um, I had a great time. We rented a caravan. We went all over Norway and we saw some of the most amazing things. Um, and if I could, I'd be doing that all over Denmark this week too, but I'm going to be here at KubeCon. So I'm just going to give you a quick um, few tips about, and this whole blog post is on blog.openshift.com, so do not try and write down all of these things. But um, from my perspective, um, one of the wonderful things about CoreOS joining um, Red Hat was um, all of these new colleagues, and lots of people from um, uh, Mr. Crowling to Josh Burkus, who's um, the community manager, um, Diane Fetima, who was on the panel, um, all kinds. Brandon's got a couple of talks. There's talks every single day. So I'll let you read the blog post, and while you're reading all that, I'll tell you about a really cool thing. If you sneak away from um, KubeCon for a day here, go to the site, um, Google Six Forgotten Giants of C Copenhagen. And um, if you ever were a geocacher like me, um, this artist, Thomas Dambo, has built from um, pallets, from wooden pallets, these beautiful, hidden all over um, the, the greater Copenhagen area, a whole bunch of things. things. Some of them are underneath um, the, uh, the bridges. There's a little map you can go and explore. So I really tell you to... Um, yeah, stay at KubeCon, go to all the sessions we're going to tell you about, but do take an opportunity to go off and um, see a little bit of us. And this is one of the wonderful, magical things about being in Scandinavia, besides the Norse mythology in Norway, um, the trolls in, here in Denmark and the Swedes. Um, Thursday, again, I do not know how I'm going to get to all of these sessions and um, to connect with everybody, but there's a whole lot of stuff. Maje is here, um, is giving a talk on writing kube controllers. There's just, um, you know, I, we mentioned a couple of times, I'm going to keep shouting out to the, the source to image conversations that we're trying to have um, to really get deeper into the use cases around creating images and containers and the, the workflows around them. So that's really going to... But then Thursday night, there's this thing in the Tivoli Gardens. There's a roller coaster here and a garden and a beautiful place. Um, and there'll be buses in the evening and beer again. So um, please make sure you do leave um, this beautiful Bella Center and, and go off and do that. So on Friday, if you're not already tired from everything that you did on Thursday and um, you have, you know, you're not seasick from the roller coaster, um, there are still even more talks. And um, again, um, we have Elsie uh, Phillips is doing a great talk. Um, has done some amazing things with the um, National Institute of Technology Standards, and um, just really, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to that talk. But my other thing is if you don't have any time to go buy souvenirs, I know there's famous Lego things and all that, and if you have kids, you're obliged to bring Legos home. But there's a store here in Copenhagen, and they're around the world too, called Flying Tiger. And I'm Canadian, we have this thing called the dollar store. It's like you go in and everything is made in China, and it's like $2 or less, because a toonie or a loonie in Canada. But at um, Flying Tiger, it's kind of like that, except it's got Danish design influence. And they also have really inexpensive tins of Danish cookies. You know, those things that you get in the beautiful tins. So my tip to you, when you're Friday, when you're totally fried, there's lots of flying tigers all over Copenhagen. Find one of them and take home one of their really cool tins of um, uh, Danish butter cookies. That will make everybody happy. But, um, and you should all by now have at least had one beer or two glasses of wine or three maybe now, you've had three now? Okay, so you're fine. Um, I don't have to worry about you. But um, we will have a big booth at Red Hat as we always do here because we really want to support the uh, Kubernetes community. Um, you can find all of the people that um, are talking at talks at some point or other, we'll, you can meet them in the Red Hat booth. Um, I really highly encourage you, Michael, the tall man there, if you haven't joined OpenShift Commons yet and you want to get in the Slack channel and get into some of these conversations, meet the, the tall man. 
um, and he will sign you up um, and get you enrolled in the OpenShift community. We don't spam. We just send out announcements about when briefings are coming, um, when the next ML SIG is. Go to um, commons.openshift.org. You will find the ML SIG. You can sign up for that. There are a whole lot of other SIGs if you're into operations. Um, that's not the game operation. Um, or OpenShift on OpenStack. There's a SIG for you there. So please um, take a moment, take a look, sign up. Um, um, join us or just come and find us at the booth um, over the rest of the week. And you know what? It's not even day one KubeCon and you're, sti you're still standing. Your jet lag hasn't kicked in yet. It will probably around Friday when you have to get back on the plane and go home. But we're all in the same boat. Um, some of you get to live in Norway and stay here in, in this time zone and you're really, really lucky. But the rest of us um, will be jet lagged and dreaming about it on the flights home. So really, thank you very much for your time tonight, um, for coming to KubeCon, for coming to this event this evening. Um, I really hope you will get involved in both the KubeFlow community, the OpenShift on ML com communities, and um, stay deeply involved in the Kubernetes community because it's been a wonderful adventure the past five years. So please keep it going. Thank you. <laughs>